We had a passion for the unborn and we realized we really weren't doing anything about it and we decided that we needed to do more. And then we just found out that there was a need for making baskets for the new mamas that chose life. That was the first step that we took getting involved with Hands of Hope. It let me get my little girls involved, picking out layettes and putting together baskets and praying over all those baskets. These are our babies and these are our women that are in our town um, that are being um, impacted. And without Hands of Hope, um, where do they go? They're here in Tucson. They're meeting people's needs here in Tucson with the people that are who are our neighbors, our friends, our family. So we found ourselves um, church liaisons for Hands of Hope, and so we we're trying to figure out a way to get uh, not just everybody involved, but you know men involved as well. We had this kind of creative idea to do a March Madness bracket, open their eyes to Hands of Hope, but also being involved in kind of like a, a manly, you know, activity. Um, and I think it's it's been. It's been great the last few years. More men have been joined every time, and I just encourage other people out there in their churches to, to do the same. It doesn't have to be sports driven, but just ways for uh, men to get involved and to open up this uh, issue to them and not just be, again, focused on just women. When, when giving, I would, I would highly um, recommend to pour into uh, a local community like Hands of Hope that really invests here in Tucson. Um, also give to your church and mission trips very important but it's just something that you can see and do in our own backyard and have a really great influence. Would you join us by giving any amount monthly so that we can continue doing the work that we're doing here in Tucson?